Hey, this is Nick and welcome to Borsalino Carpentry. So today I'm going to be talking about Makita circular saws. Um, I, right here I've got a, a corded circular saw and a cordless circular saw. So I'm going to go through a little about the differences between them and maybe help you decide which one might be right for you. So this is the tried and true corded saw. Um, it is a, I believe, seven and a quarter inch and I think this is a five and a quarter. I don't even remember what size they are. I'll look that up and I'll put it on the screen right here. The different blade sides, sizes between them. Obviously you can tell this one is much bigger than that one. Um, this saw in general is just bigger, heftier all the way around. The motor is bigger on this saw than on this one. Um, this one's a little lighter than this one, which you would expect. But you also notice probably that the blade is on different sides on either one of them. So if you're cutting with this one and you're right-handed like me, you're looking at the outside of the blade or right here. And with this one, also right-handed, you're looking at the inside of the blade. So this one's a little more awkward to use, um, you know, if you're cutting plywood or anything like that, you know. If you're cutting a lot of stuff, you definitely want this one. If you're cutting every once in a while, you're gonna want a battery powered one that might work for you. What's nice about the battery ones is you can buy all the tools, batteries come right out, you can switch them out between them. This set actually came with three amp hour batteries and I upgraded to a five amp hour because I noticed that the batteries that came with it didn't seem like they had enough juice to do the projects that I was doing. But I use them a little more heavy duty than most people probably would. So I upgraded this battery. Uh, and then I've got drills, a, a Sawzall uh, flashlight. I think that might be it that go with this. And I wanna upgrade, I wanna buy some more tools to go with these because it's pretty handy to have battery operated tools. You know, this I have to have this cord plugged into the house. So uh, what I usually do, this usually stays in my trailer and this stays in my truck. So if I'm on a job and I just need something quick, make a quick cut, I got this thing. It works awesome, I don't have to get a cord out or anything. And then if I need to make a lot of cuts, I'll go to this or even the chop saw. So another cool feature about this one in particular, it has a, uh, you probably can't see it because it's daylight, but right here there's a switch and there's actually a light right here. So if it's dark out or you know it's getting dark out, there's a light that shines right down on the blade. So as you're cutting, you see, uh, you can see the blade, you can see your cut. So they both tilt. This one tilts to 50 degrees, or bevels, and this one bevels to 45 degrees. So this saw will actually bevel more than this saw. And to change the depth, there's a lever on the back here. You flip that up and you can set this to anything you want. And then you just push it back down to lock it back into place. This one on this saw is a little bit different. Same concept, but the, the uh, lever's in a different spot. So one thing I'm gonna show you that you might not believe is that these actually have the same depth of cutting capacity. Even though this has a smaller blade, this cuts two and a quarter inches deep. And that cuts two and a quarter inches deep. So there's, there's no difference as far as that goes. I think the main difference is gonna be in the power capacity. And as I said, this one bevels more. Um, you know, this one has a bigger base plate. You can see it's longer as well as it's wider. So this one's gonna be more stable. Uh, yeah, I've, I've used a lot of different uh, circular saws and ergonomically this one feels the best weighted in your hand. I've seen a lot of saws where the handle is like back farther and it feels like you're, it's kind of like tipping forwards on you all the time. I like this one because I can get a good grip on it even with one hand. Um, what else? To change the blade, this comes with a little Allen wrench here that you just uh, push the little button in, change the blade. This one comes with its own tool that is actually in my truck all the time and has the same thing, a little button there. Loosen that up, change the blade. So aside from that, um, they both come with a guide that you can put in here that you can set your, uh, you know, if you needed to rip a bunch of plywood the same dimension, 
and this one comes with one too. It goes right in here, but I don't really ever use those. So I don't even know where they are. Probably in my shop maybe. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna do a couple cuts so you can see that they work the same. I should probably also mention this feature. There is a thumb latch. You can't pull the trigger without hitting the thumb latch on the battery operated saw and it's on both sides. So if you're left handed or right handed, that's how you do that. All right, so I think that's it. I mean, they're pretty basic tools. So let me know in the comments what you think, which one you like better out of the two of them. Please like and subscribe if you got anything out of this. Check out my other videos and my links in the description and I will see you on the next video.